So Fudo, again, uh, very, very great with the spacing. A more footsie-heavy Mika, something, yeah. you know, kind of opposite of Knuckle 2, right? Kind of like a safer Mika. You know, he, he, of course, you have to take risks with her, but it's it's rare that he goes all out. Mm -hmm. Like, it's rare that he takes the big bet. It's more right. solid stuff, approaching as a wall. Remember how he played Fei Long? His yeah, anti yeah. were amazing, right? Even as he was paying attention to the ground as one of the best in the world, he still had the anti -airs. I remember sets where he anti aired almost everything, right? His defense was amazing. Or, or even offense. He was using okay. it to approach as a wall, and he's doing the same thing with Mika. His crouching strongs are on point. His anti air wingless airplanes are on point. His ground control is on point. At the same time, Kazunoko, so good with mobility. Right. You, he's so unpredictable. Uh, you know, he he says he has said in the past that he doesn't feel like his footsies are the best, but I just don't think that's true. I'm I'm always impressed by his buttons, by his uh, you know, footsies are not just buttons that you press on the ground; they're what you do in the air too. Uh, yeah. With a character who has air mobility. Speaking of air mobility, we're gonna pilot away from that one. <laughs> yeah, don't, definitely don't want to fly around in the skies of honor. Yeah, just gonna I hang think out on the ground. It's too bad. It's such a cool looking stage, but some yeah. people are uh, a little bit dizzied by it. I feel like if the players themselves are like cool with it, they should just let it rock. Viewers at home are just going to have to hold that. But uh, they're not going to play it out. We're going to be we're gonna be nice about it. So Kazunoko, Fudo, Kami versus Armika. Let's see how this goes. Again, Kami, a very fragile character, but very good on the offensive side. And Fudo, or Armika, very mix-up heavy, right? But still hits like a truck. Right. Here we go. We, we've seen we've seen this matchup uh, played by other people not too long ago when Du played against Xiao Hai and right. his Mika really blew up Kazunoko's Kami. But that said, Xiao Hai admitted he didn't know the Mika matchup very well. That's not going to be the case for Kazunoko who plays against Kudo. He will know it. Oh, right off the bat, Kazunoko taking the risks. Oh, and he's going to get stunned just like that. He's making him pay for it. Full force. Look at the damage here. Uh, 80 seconds. You're almost dead. Mix up time. Why not? Went for it again. Why not? I respect it. Reversal, no good for Fudo. Trying to reassess the situation here. Kazunoko. Ooh, the spacing. And then, surprise, Fudo didn't press buttons after that. Kazunoko did. That is something that Kazunoko does. He's willing to press buttons at unsafe spots. Shooting mm. Peach. Didn't believe in the grab. Kazunoko just played patiently and blocked. <laughs> no confirms there from Kazunoko, though. Oh, the oh. time kick was missed. Uh, really rare drop from Kazunoko. Definitely blowing on his hands there. He needs to warm up. He's being full force right now. Fudo taking the first round. Interesting range by Kazunoko. It's outside of Mika's options. And surprised to not see anything there. Again, charge, charge Ranas. From, from Kazunoko. Back into the neutral space. He's kind of letting Mika go back into the neutral space so that he doesn't get Irish ripped into the corner. I think. Yeah. That's what his, what his game plan is going for right now. Yeah, he's going to back off a little bit. Yeah, you see that right there. Ooh. Nice block and the punish. Great call from Kazunoko. Yeah, that's somebody who knows the match. Oh, the whip punish, though. Ooh. He thought he would be safe. No. Nobody's safe from Mika. I'll say. Especially when you have a neutral game like Fudo's. Good call, but she still could throw out of that. Kaz or Fudo wasn't ready for it. Nice. You know, that's a, it's unsafe on block. I mean, yep. you can you can try to escape that way. Oh, but he went for it. Kazunoko risky. Really? Risky drops. Did he do the wrong super? You can do different strengths and different angles. I don't know what happened there. He did the roundhouse one, but a little bit too far. On the edge of my seat on that one, with Fudo getting game number one. Man, tough break for Kazunoko. Yeah, it was. He had the right call. He just didn't have the right super. Yeah. He got out of a tough situation. The momentum shift could have been in his favor. Actually, yeah. should have been in his favor. Yeah, and if you're one Fudo, wrong button. You, you know, he, you have, Fudo has to recognize that. Right? And Fudo has to think, well, I, sure, I won the game, but that could have easily gone the other way. Right. We'll see if he gets another chance against Fudo in game number two. Ah, very nice. Tried to whiff punish it. Maybe that's what Kazunoko was looking for before he didn't believe in the charge. Oh, the meaty dive kick missed the combo, though. Great spacing on that, but still Kazunoko takes yeah. advantage, still presses buttons. Yeah, he's not going to go in after that forward throw either. Oh, the hesitation crouch jab is good. Again, when Kazunoko gets the knockdown, he's just going to stay back into the neutral. He doesn't want to deal with any, anything that Fudo has to offer. Oh, man. Kazunoko has done a good job of approaching safely, controlling, but it can all melt so quickly. Fudo now pressuring. He's just a couple mix-ups away from taking this, baby. Where does he go? go? Where does he go? 
Oh, oh. That's so tricky. Is that the stun? Yes, it is. That's uh. the round. Keeping it easy. Simple and clean Fudo. Getting that first round, game number two. Man, those command grabs. Right, Kazunoko again, trying to get this life lead back into the neutral. He's just going to be, play, be playing extra patient. Good understanding by Fudo. It was not an advantage spot for that dive kick. So, so there's that Fudo style of play, Asmika. He, didn't, he wasn't insistent about pressuring on the knockdown. He just yeah. went back to this mid range. He's felt, felt comfortable there. Good awareness from Fudo. A little too short from Kazunoko. Oh, nice. good uppercut. Great there have awareness. been so many neutral jumps, and that's how you shot him down. Reset. Yeah, same side. Is he going to go in? He is. Excellent throw bait here. One more time. Oh! Yeah. No, it's not enough. She had drained a little bit. That's it, though. That's good not punish. a safe spot at all. Just going for the hard read, just in case. Way to get on the board there for Kazunoko. Fight. Fully stocked, Kazunoko. Nice! My the goodness. This time, yes. Yeah, he is. Tons of damage out the gate. Setup time, or Medes, excuse me. Pluto backing off. Feeling comfortable about his ability to approach or control. Plenty of time to do so, fully loaded. Sure. Almost got beat sugar. Sure. He's comfortable with that. Very scary. Trying to get the whiff punish wasn't quite there. Oh, he didn't believe in the jabs. Ooh, almost got the jump in there. Covered just in time as Fudo. A lot of great damage to take. But the strong from Fudo. Knockdown. Here oh, he comes. spends it all again. Put it all in the line with the uppercut. Got to do it sometimes. Or maybe a lot. He does it all the time. What was that? All? Oh, I see what happened. Okay. So he wanted the cross up, but Kazunoko had it scoped and got the grab before Kaz before the Ooh, hit. Nice. Got the anti -air. airplane. Oh, and the throw baits again. Reset. Yeah. Ooh, backing off. Really strong was in time. Fudo pressuring. Patient. Ooh, that's just about enough. Kazunoko tying it up one to one. Ooh. Really intense matches here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his initial strategy of just kind of backing off after knockdown wasn't working out too well because he gave Fudo a chance to breathe. That's something he doesn't want to do. So he right. smothered him with more and more offense, and that paid off for him. Mika does not have the best wake up options, doesn't have anything invincible. Armor only on frame three. It's not immediate on wake up. You're right. Here we go again. All tied up. Kazunoko versus Fudo. Getting the throw. Try to anti air it. Not in time, though. Mm -mm. Don't press buttons there. There it is. I kept expecting buttons for Fudo after that crouching fear spacing. Finally, he does it. Wow, a late uppercut catching the last part of that jump. Back-to-back -back uppercuts from Kazunoko. Really taking control of that airspace. If he can consistently get that, he has a good chance. Keeping it nice and cool. Both players in the neutral. Activation time. Nadeshko, where are you coming from? Yeah. Into... Oh, one safe, but Kazunoko wanted to get away. Nothing there. Kazunoko doesn't want to... What? Oh, looking for the jump, maybe. Mm -hmm. But that's such a hard read. I guess he doesn't have a solid read on Kazunoko just yet. He's all over the place. Well, I know they played each other before, so if you don't have a read now, it's, everybody says this, it's tough to get a read on what he's going to do. Right. Nice! Way to use the beat trigger as an activation tool, or a reactionary tool, excuse me, to get that uppercut over Fudo. I feel that not, not that many people have talked about Kazunoko. We've talked about a lot of other players, but Kazunoko is, you know, he won oh. Capcom Cup last year. Right. Excellent player. Look Just at the that. again. Right. Long distance. So fun to see. He's really been able to shut down those neutral jumps. Oh, Fudo again, ready for the air to air. There's the brimstone. And you see the utility of that neutral jump. If you expect the dive kick, you can really use it well. That's how Fudo started this off. Ooh, there's the uppercut again. Cause no go, no fear. Right. Jumping away. Ooh. Ah, the anti air was there. Kazunoko now has full super. Nice call. Didn't get to convert off that. Oh, what? This airplane connects? Yeah, luckily for him, he just wanted to escape, I bet. But hey, it worked out. Oh, man. Tied up here in game number three. Yeah. It's kind of intense. A little bit. Final Trying to get up on my seat a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm with you. I'm standing up. Oh, oh! The is good, Kazunoko. That's nasty. A lot of damage right there. 
backing off. Udo. Now, into what? Keeps his opponent still. Oh, the hit! Tons of damage with the corner carry as well. Wow. He's out of there. Go back into that Rainbow Typhoon. Nice. Couch Pierce. He's going to spend the meter. That's fine. He's going to have the life lead. And he's not going to go in. That's been his style. Mm -mm. Can't react to that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. He had his own DP. Oh, man. That's just been so, so good. good. Fudo's so he believes so strongly that there are dive kicks coming. He's going for that neutral jump, but... He could have gone for the confirm. Oh, he still gets it. it. Dive kick is good. Kazunoko with the confirm. Two to one. choice. Fudo, second place at Evo this year. We haven't seen him a lot. Right. You know, since then, he really hasn't right. come out to a lot of events. But everybody talks about how he's sitting there in Japan as one of the best or the best player in Japan. Absolutely. So he comes into this Capcom Cup, even though we haven't seen him very much, as one of the favorites. All right, back to neutral. Both players still trying to find their footing here. Get their momentum started. A little slower start from both, both sides. Kazunoko finds the combo. Hey. Oh, man. <laughs> the throw bait into max damage. Oh, dash up, but Fudo gets the grab. Mm -hmm. Trying to get things going. I love the dive kick, though. Yes. The dash go. Yes. You are a sneaky guy, Fudo. What side was that on? Nobody oh, knew. Oh, the roundhouse. The uncharged roundhouse that restands. Man. And Fudo with the little trick. <laughs> That fitness. was some trickery. It was Off of the Nadesco top rope, yeah, resetting the crowd strong. Like, nobody expects the reset right there, especially when you see the roundhouse. But uh, non-charged version will just do that. So silly. Nice reset. Same side from Kazunoko. Great blocks from Fudo. Yeah. Fudo slowly approaching. You see fewer of those neutral jumps now. <laughs> Not doing it quite as often. And, it, I mean, that might open Kazunoko's dive kicks, which is what we're seeing right now. Double double drop kicks, huh? Kazunoko not having any of that. Punishes accordingly. Now pushing Fudo more and more towards the corner. Oh, no hand tire this time. Crush. Huge bro. Into what? Corner carry. Look damage. Damage off of the view. Oh, oh, oh what? what? Nothing. Was that just an input error? I can't believe he just dashed back. Yeah, that was it. He could have gotten a stun into the kill. Instead, Kazunoko pressuring. He's trying to get the round. Oh, could have uppercut there, but here comes Mika. Don't you do it. Oh, he can do it. Oh! Sits. All right. The whip oh, punish was there. Man. Match point now, Kazunoko. So slick with it. Just outside of that range, Final Kazunoko round. responding appropriately. Fight. Getting that match point. Okay, seeing it. Confirming it. And backing off. Oh my gosh, he's been on point with that. He went back to it once. Set. I mean, he just hadn't been doing it very often. Kazunoko saw the one time it came out, and he still shut it down. Oh. Okay. Eyes confirmed. Way to check that. Good buffering. Mm. Oh, mm. wow. Meterless stuff. That one jump in did a ton of damage. <laughs> yes, it did. Oh, but here comes Kazunoko firing right back. Kazunoko's in a great situation for himself. Yeah. But Fudo has all these resources, and he activates their Snow View Reversal into what? Into not oh. a whole lot. Out of there, but just about even. Fudo's got full critical art, though. Not dead yet. Ooh, he Maybe now, to... yes! He went Oh, for... Kazunoko got it! Oh my goodness. Kazunoko <laughs> got it. We hadn't been talking about him very much, but you can see why we probably should have been. You gotta think, what did he press there to try to contest Kazunoko? Could have been a plethora of things, but either sure. way, none of those options would have mattered. 